Hello, welcome back to Banner Sushi Live Noding. In this episode, I'm going to show you the creations of this simple setup. It's um, I'm using Spreadshock and we're gonna be generating this like a bunch of circle and they are actually drawn using grease pencil in Blender. Um, so this is a very very simple setup and the whole node tree looks something like this. So it's not too many nodes and we are using the circle nodes in Spreadshock and we are generating how many circle here? Maybe we have 10, I think we have 10 circle and we can randomize the circle. Um, the circle comes with different radius and we are using the grease pencil nodes with, uh, which I talked about for a long time uh, yesterday and we just randomize the color. We are also randomizing the, the line width here. So that's uh, that's it. I think it's very, very easy to make. Um, let's just get started. Um, let's delete everything in the scene so we don't have anything at this moment. We jump into compositing and turn on stretch of node tree. Um, I'll save this real quick. SV grid pencil circles and let's get started. What I'm gonna create right away is the nodes that I might need. Uh, we need a grease pencil, uh, working in a 3D space, and what else do we need? We need the object selector. And this guy, let's see if we can generate grease pencil without anything. Um, probably at this moment, we don't have like a, a way to generate it inside Spreadshop. But if you draw something in a 3D space, you know, like using grease pencil, you can uh, you can now access this inside Spreadshop um, and make modifications on the fly. So let, uh, let's check this first. We're not gonna pass the points, we're gonna pass the, the data block. So plug this into, turn this off, plug this into the frame, and let's get started. Let's try um, circle node in Spreadshop. We know that circle node will, will draw a circle, whether it's like a real mesh or a viewer. In this case, it's a grease pencil. So, Right away, we have circle. It's actually, yeah, it's that simple. And you can have less or more vertices. Less vertices and you get um, like a, sometimes you, you can see the artifacts, like a broken lines. I think currently the grease pencil implementation is like this. Maybe in the future it's different. I, I'm not sure whether grease pencil is always made of broken lines, maybe. But anyway, we can make a circle now and can we control the color? So apparently the color is not being controlled over here, but we can control it from here. Um, stroke color especially important because that's the one that we often change when we are drawing using grease pencil. Um, let's refresh. Um, the feel, the feel is also important if you like to have the feel and also controlling the opacity of the grease pencil strokes. So uh, when thinking about grease pencil in Blender, um, it's always a good idea to think of it simple, simple first. Like, what is grease pencil? What is it made made of? It's made of uh, lines, actually lines, just strokes, and also um, you can easily mix lines and shapes. So lines and shape. That's basically what grease pencil is. You can. Um, of course, by now you already know the fact that you can just doodle using grease pencil, and it's kind of new idea that we can do this procedurally using Spreadshop. You know, like uh, procedurally drawing it like this. It's still kind of new idea if you if you never touch uh, any kind of uh, procedural nodes workflow. So let's suppose you want to have multiple circles. How are you going to do that? So let's save this. For multiple circles, um, 
maybe before I jump into the multiple circles, I will actually show you how to change the color of the strokes first. So changing the color of the strokes, you, you can see as I'm changing the color, um, Blender gives this history. Uh, so it's using the colors, colors um, props in the grease pencil itself. And in order to do that in Scratch Off, we can use the object ID set MK2. So these nodes can access any kind of props or properties simply plug in the data block and then this is gonna be the color and the color for stroke is actually you type it like this color dot color and now if we use the vector in any three values will work you know it's very very easy so we don't need to go here anymore everything is now um, like a numerical you can of course use a random color as well whatever um, for now, I'll give it like just a single color. Maybe give it a blue color for now. Um, the fill color, I'm wondering if we need to do that. Maybe I should. So with the fill color, if I'm changing the color, um, this is, it's called fill color. So we just duplicate this guy and then instead of color here, type in fill colors and plug in the data block from this guy. And let's give it a color. So we can have yellow color if we have red and blue. Uh, with RGB, it's a, the value will be clamped between zero and one. So if you go really high, it, it doesn't count. So be careful with that. Um, okay, so we have access to the color, the strokes color and the fill color, and we know that for now, we are just thinking about either line or shapes, um, generating lines and shapes using procedural way in Spreadshop for Grease Pencil. Um, okay, we have circle. So what else can we do? Um, if you're, if you want to try something else, you can also try the end gone. The end gone. Ah, okay, that's interesting. You don't always get like a like a nice shapes for now but maybe that's some things that we need to look at at some point um, so and gone sometimes you get imperfect result but anyway go back to circles at least circles give us a nice result sometimes uh, maybe sometimes you still get this artifact which is interesting maybe maybe Fill doesn't always work, but I know that if we have like a high value, it's kind of worth 30. 30 is actually like a perfect value, or 30, 36 kind of. Well, anyway, doesn't matter. For now, let's uh, let's make a bunch of circle instead of one. We want to have multiple, and how do we go about doing that? There are multiple ways to do this. Sometimes you can use list repeat, list repeater, and let's say you want to make five, five circle, and now you don't get the result right away. Maybe you need to change the level or unwrap it. This is a, uh, yeah, now actually I think I believe I have five, five circles and Seems like this might actually work if I use a vector move and use random vector, make five random vector and see currently we have five circles and only one random vector. Actually we have five but it's uh, accessing the wrong thing, it's accessing the, the points of the circle. We might need to do the list splitting so now now we do have five circle which is a which is a good thing and we can randomize the radius for example but uh, one thing you need to know that you don't actually need to
let me try this first. Maybe I'll give it a random value for the for the field color. Random vector five. So this doesn't work right away. Maybe we need to list split it as well. So we have five value. We need to perhaps unwrap it. Um, this still does. This still doesn't work. Now this is where things can get a little bit complicated with the list repeater and list split. Um, sometimes you need to look at the data and check whether this is actually correct or not. Um, but I know one fact that. Uh, will work is actually instead of using list repeater in the circle we actually just use a random number set to float and make like five here and plug this as the radius uh, yeah plug that as a radius and the output goes into this guy which is, uh, we're gonna move so this actually work. So we have now um, random circles. The stroke doesn't. Let's try have like a random color for the strokes. Uh, we need to split it. Actually, we did. We don't need to split it. Uh, it sort of work right away. So random color for the stroke doesn't need a split. Maybe this guy doesn't need split as well. All, all we need to do is just to, to turn on the opacity for this uh, these guys. Uh, so for the opacity, let's check what is the opacity. Palette color fill. Fill alpha, okay. Fill alpha. Let's try that. Colors and fill alpha. Use a floating value. Apparently, this doesn't work. Maybe we don't need this. All right. Fill alpha, and now we have. We can have a random value. For the fill and random value for the strokes, um, and we can control the radius of the circle in here. So the minimum radius and the maximum radius, and because we generate it on the fly, uh, we can change um, the amounts at any point. And they're actually in a 3D 3D axis, so that's a uh, very important. Okay, this is the setup that I want to show you. I think we are already done. I just want to summarize the whole thing now. So this is the opacity control that we have. And we have this um, control of uh, the random fill, currently set to 5, and then random stroke color set to 5 as well. Uh, maybe we need to gather all this uh, number. So I'll use a single integer input. I'll set it to 10 now. Plug this into that guy, this into that guy, and 10 random position, and also 10 different radius, and update it. Okay, so we are we're almost done. Um, how to display just the render? Okay. So we have pretty cool setup now. Is everything is procedural, and this is remember this is actually grease pencil. Um, if you wanna have an empty, empty set to zero zero zero, and this empty we want to control the grease pencil. We can select our grease pencil and parent it. I can't wait until we can use grease pencil. Um, as a real object actually so where is the grease pencil parenting grease pencil layer object parent okay parent empty 
now that we're parenting the empty uh, the goose pencil into empty we can rotate it whatever but remember uh, we have this setup in Spreadshop. We can control the amount. Um, so now we have 40 circles. It doesn't update right away yet. We need to scrub in the timeline. But that's the random, randomly generated circles, like a perfect circles using Grease Pencil. Sometimes, um, I think this can be useful if you are, for example, want to generate like a cloud or some kind of small simulations in Grease Pencil that you want to use. Um, yeah, you can do it. You can do it this way using Spreadshop or um, for the color. Currently, we are using random color. If you want to do it differently, you can use um, the color in node. And we know that this guy works in RGB sometimes, uh, or you can use HSV with HSV you can say you you use like a random number for the for the hue the for if you're doing it this way you're gonna get a different result which is like a random spectrum color for each circle so you get nicer looking color like this maybe less less saturated maybe reduce the value a little bit so that's quite nice I think so look at it from the top view you can rotate it you can you can do other stuff like uh, transformations scaling scaling the radius or rotating the radius you can do all that so that's pretty easy uh, give that a try yourself but basically um, this is pretty much what I want to show you you can control the alpha of course here and give a different alpha value for each circle so yeah if you think about um, the current possibilities you basically um, able to generate uh, like a primitive objects lines and shapes are very easy to create at the moment if you want to duplicate the instance your drawings that probably something we need to look at um, further um, but that's it if you want to give it a try give this a try make sure you download a um, stretch of add-on first for blender just uh, download at the zip and then install it as add-on in blender install it and you can you can create this kind of setup using nodes and simply give it a try with a with the circles or maybe you can try making a stars maybe that's for the next live noting but yeah so this is as simple as uh, I can explain to you um, if you have any question uh, feedback just let me know in the comment section below and I'll see you in the next video thank you